Hi everyone, in this video tutorial I'll be going through a brief overview of what div tags are, how they operate, how CSS rules help define them, and make them function within Dreamweaver CS6. If you didn't already know, div tags are the essential building blocks of websites. Websites are made out of div tags, and CSS rules, which stand for cascading style sheets, are rules that help define or give function to a tag. For example, a CSS rule may enable a div tag to have its background color as black or have its position on the website changed. Let's start this tutorial by open opening up a brand new HTML document. And let's see what a div tag looks like once it's been applied. Go over to your right hand side of the inserts panel and click on insert div tag. It will then prompt you to on where, on where to insert the div tag. You can choose at insertion point, after the start of tag or before the tag. For this tutorial I'll select it at insertion point and for the name of the tag I'll name it container. This will be the container that holds all of our other divs like so. As you can see the div tag is rectangle in shape but we can change that by adding a CSS rule to it. To add a CSS rule to a div tag simply click on this icon right here which says new CSS rule. We'll name the selected name or the name of the CSS rule container. I'll click OK. I'll go to background and I'll change the background to a grayish color. I'll click apply, OK, and as you can see once I apply the CSS rule to the div container it changes the background from white to a darkish grayish color. Once we've done that let's add another div tag inside of our container div and let's call it header. We'll go over to our inserts panel and select, select insert div tag once again. Uh, once it prompts us on where to insert the div tag, I'll select after the start of the tag and select the container div. For the ID, I'll call this div header. As you can see, the header div has been placed within the container div. Now let's add a CSS rule to the header and make the dimensions of the div to 254 wide and 154 high. So I'll go over to new CSS rule. I'll name the I'll go over to sorry, I'll go over to new CSS rule. I'll select OK. I'll go over to box and I'll change the width to 254 pixels wide and I'll change the height to 154 pixels high. I'll also change the position of the div inside our container div by adding auto to the left and right hand sides of the margin section and zero to the top and bottom. So I'll deselect this tick box right here. I'll add zero to the top and, section, and top and bottom sections. And for the right and left, I'll add auto. I'll then click apply, like so. Uh, as you can see, the div has been placed inside the middle of the container div tag. I'll just change the color of the background so it's easy for, easier for you guys to see. I'll give it a light bluish color. I'll click apply. And as you can see, our header div has been placed in the middle of our container div, like so. And the dimensions of the div tag within the container tag has been changed. That was a brief example of how CSS rules affect div tags. I'll show you another example using the float CSS rule. Let's create two new div tags and name them left and right and position them underneath the header div. So I'll go to insert div tag once again where it prompts me to insert the div tag. I'll select after tag, I'll select the header tag and I'll name it left. I'll name the first of one of the two div tags left. I'll add a CSS rule to that. I'll change the color of that CSS rule, oh sorry, I'll change the color of that background 
to a lightish purplish color like so basically so you know um, what's going on after that I'll insert the second uh, of the two div tags this time I'll have it after the div tag after the tag of the left div and I'll name it right I'll click OK and as you can see once I've done that the right div has been placed directly beneath the left div I'll change I'll add another CSS rule to that right div so I'll go to new CSS rule click OK background this time I'll give it a sort of plum or peach color I'll click OK click apply then OK and as you can see basically it's changed color oh, I did that so it makes it easier for you guys to see what's going on now as you can see because it doesn't have the float CSS rule applied to either of them the tag that has been placed after the left tag direct directly goes beneath the left tag so it goes so the right div tag is beneath the left tag if I were to apply the float tag to the left the float tag would be taken out of its normal position and float to the left and same thing with the right div tag the right div tag would float to the right so I'll go ahead and I'll give it that CSS rule I'll go to box float left click apply OK as you can see the left div has been forced to float right and the right div has sort of moved up a space in position with the left div let's go ahead and see what happens once I apply the right float to the right div so I'll create another CSS rule I'll click OK go to box float right apply OK as you can see once the right float CSS rule has been applied to the right div tag the right div tag kind of collapses on itself or kind of shrinks to the right and floats to the right so it gets taken out of its normal position and floats to the right if you didn't have the float rule assigned to either of them like before uh, basically the right div tag would be placed directly beneath the left div tag and that about sums it up for today's tutorial in this lesson you got to learn how CSS rules affect how div tags function and affect the div tags around them tune in for the next tutorial where I'll teach you guys how to create a two column website using some of the things we learned in this tutorial and Dreamweaver CS6 thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and watch my videos thank you